The image, if you're watching on NBCSN, of Bobby Orr soaring through the air, Superman style. You've seen it before, and when you think of hockey, that's got to be one of the first pictures you think of. And if you're listening on the radio, see, I was concerned about doing a segment based upon iconic NFL images, but here's the thing. If you hear it, you instantly know what we're talking about. Bobby Orr, you know. It's Bobby Orr, Superman style, caught in midair. That is the photo that you think I mean, of when you think of hockey. And it's relevant because the Bruins and the Blues back together again in the Stanley Cup final 49 years after the fact. Right. Like, I don't know if there's really any image in the history of the NFL that can truly just compete with it, like to, to the extent you just said, where it's just you say a name and people think of that exact moment. That's to me where it's going to be very interesting. I feel like other sports have a few more of those moments. The NFL has more of a long history of those moments. It's hard to pick which one. Well, and that leads us to today's draft. We are going to select the most iconic NFL images. And really, the, the ultimate litmus test is for the people listening on radio or via podcast. If they know right away what we're talking about, That's then right. it's a good iconic image. So yeah. uh, the iconic image that we do every day, the rigged coin toss, you're probably going to call – I have a feeling you're going to call tails. You're trying to – and it, look, I, I assume there's a psychology to it. She just hits the button after she hears what you've called. I know how this works. Go ahead. Well, no, I'm picking heads. She feels bad for you because you got lots of eggs smashed on your head. So go ahead, heads. Heads it is today. No, oh, you got it wrong she today. went with tails in uh -huh. me. Damn, so she really didn't like you. Darn it. All right, and for me, there are so many to choose from, and I've gone back and forth on uh, what the most enduring image is. Um, and I, you know what? I've got to start with Chuck Bednarik because the one thing that sears into the brain— Okay, the, is the, this the right picture here? of Bednarik— Like this? That's right, with his, with his, with his hand right. down, elbow out, over— Frank Gifford, a hit that he applied to Frank Gifford that knocked him out of football for over a year. That image of Chuck Bednarik. Now, look, the game has evolved uh, uh, dramatically in the years since then. But Bednarik standing over the fallen Frank Gifford, something that, uh, you know, when you think of football, especially old school football, it's Chuck Bednarik over Frank Gifford. Yeah, that's a, hey, Mike, that's a great one. It really is. I mean, just as a still frame shot, just like that, you know, that's up there with maybe any picture in the history of the sport. It really is. I mean, and of course, Frank Gifford was such a star at the time and it's Giants Eagles. So uh, I hear you. That's a good pick by you all the way. Okay. I'm going into the 70s. I'm going Steelers. I'm going Immaculate Reception. I'm going to that image of Franco Harris going down to the ground to pick up the ball. I believe there's a statue outside of the Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium as well uh, on this exact play. The Immaculate Reception. Yeah. Did the ball bounce off a Steeler? Did it bounce off a Raider? I don't know. If it bounced off a Steeler, it should have been an illegal catch. We can't see if the ball was actually touching the ground. There's a lot of that. Either way, we know this was uh, the start in, at the very start of the Pittsburgh Steelers dynasty in the 70s. So to me, that is one I look at and if anybody's watching on TV right now, we're showing the highlight that I just will always be, you know, branded in my brain, at least not only just the highlight itself, but when we see that end zone picture, right, of just square face on Franco Harris coming at us kind of timing. Here it is. Bam. That to me is one of the most iconic images in the history of the NFL. Yeah, yeah, but but Chris, it's really not a photo, is it? I mean, I but you know, I, I don't want to quibble here. Uh, they found a still frame, but that's not the one you're talking about. There is no still frame of the moment that is captured by the statue at the Pittsburgh airport when Franco Harris caught the ball. There's no photo of it, it and and uh, that's one of the reasons why one of the enduring controversies is whether or not the ball actually touched the ground at or about the time Harris was catching it. So I don't know that I would I would put that up there with one of the top players plays of all time but from the standpoint of a still frame there really is no still frame of Franco Harris making that catch so I gotta throw the challenge flag there's on another you, one of him going down to get it I've seen the image before but I don't really I didn't go just off a. you know if you want an image of it freeze the screen on the video there's your picture okay and take I got a picture no, of that that's right <laughs> damn it that's all right we're going iconic <laughs> images you know it. it's a moving sport all right <laughs> All right. Um, there, there, there are so many others to choose there from. There is. And, and because 
of the one that you picked, I am going to jump on this one because there is a still frame of it. It was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. It was the moment that Dwight Clark launched the 49ers dynasty with the catch, leaping above Everson Walls, catching the ball in the back of the end zone. That for me, and th- that that was that was the. Um, if you grew up in the 70s and 80s, that was the sea change moment in the NFL where it stopped being about the Steelers, the Cowboys, the Dolphins, and the Raiders. That's when one of the teams that had stunk for all those years finally said, hey, you know what, Dallas Cowboys? Sit your ass down. There's a new team that is going to win championships. There's a new team that is going to be relevant. That was a moment. And, uh, you know, I I I hope we have the still. There it is. There it is. Um, uh, And uh, and that is powerful. And that is uh, from the days of color photography, for me, one of the best images in NFL history. Yeah, well, it's, uh, again, it's, you know, the birth of a dynasty dynasty and the kind of the death of another dynasty as far as the Cowboys were concerned you know they're running the 70s and you know of course they go through a little bit of a dry spell in the 80s and the 49ers are are the team or one of the reasons uh, that they go through that dry spell you know hey sprint right option that's the play they ran there down in the end zone and that's a famous play in the west coast offense or anybody that you know really pays attention to NFL football uh, really special and of course there's like controversy around the play too did Joe Montana know he was going to be there was he throwing the ball away no he wasn't throwing away he knew he was going to be there and it was a great catch uh, by the the late great uh, Dwight Clark okay man I don't know where and you don't have to take a picture of your TV to see the still frame to see the photo of Dwight Clark making the yep, catch yep it's all right mine are better You're on mine the ropes are just, early mine this are just week. straight video why would you want to see a still frame when you could see the damn video okay so here we go the whole point of this exercise Inspired by the Bobby Orr still frame is to identify enduring still frame images, not enduring video it's, images, but please it's continue. It's an iconic Tell us image video. regardless. It's iconic Tell images. Us. It had nothing to do with a photograph. It said iconic images. Nothing in the language of any lawyer that I talked to in the Northeast said it had to do with images. Just said iconic images. That's all it said. So be Who'd quiet. You talk to? I didn't talk to any lawyers. Okay. Go ahead. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. My next one. Um, I'm not sure. Wait, which one did I want? Okay. I'm going to go with another video. I'm going with a commercial, Mike. I'm going with a commercial. I'm going with Mean Joe Green throwing the jersey at the kid in the Coke commercial. Okay? That's an iconic image. And there was a still shot because it was an ad in in magazines at the time as well for Coca-Cola. You're trying. You're trying. I got to give you credit. You're trying. It was a still shot. So it's both. But, okay, that to me, when Mean Joe Green, you know, at that time, of course, defensive line. I mean, you're not being, you know, publicized in commercials and the kid coking a smile and Joe Green throws the jersey at the kid and says, hey, kid, and throws it to him, lets him keep it. Come on. That's one of the greatest commercials in the history of professional sports. That's an iconic image. Mean Joe Green being nice to a little kid. Uh, I'm putting it on my list. Yep. That would be an excellent pick if this draft were the best commercials of all time related to the NFL. This is not what it's about. I don't, man, I'll tell you what, you, you, you the three day weekend uh, did not go down well iconic with you. Iconic images. We that knew was about iconic. This Friday. I started rattling them off. I could go six rounds on these. I was worried that you were going to take some of my best ones. And, uh, you know, I, I still have my full, my full arsenal. I don't know who to choose in, in the third round. You didn't, you haven't touched any of the ones that I had ready to go. Great. Here's where I'm going. Here's where I'm going. Uh, and, right. and this is a tough one for me. But I want to stay on the football field. There's one I want to go off the football field for it. But I, I think that this one, um, and this I, I this was almost my first pick, but I had a feeling that you would not pick this one. The image of Y.A. Tittle on his knees, bloodied, beaten, and broken. And I still don't know what the circumstances surrounding that moment were. Right. But there is nothing that speaks to... The pain, there is nothing that speaks to, look at that, the, the misery, the, you know, the agony of football defeat, then that image of Y.A. Tittle, and it was taken before I was born, and again, to this day, I still don't know what led to that, 
but there's just something about that that is haunting to me and it's always been for 50 years that I've been following football that that is a a haunting iconic unforgettable image it's a great picture yeah i get it it can't be that iconic though if we don't know what the hell it's about okay so you know it's if awesome you don't have to know it what it's about a lot. it's still iconic yeah, it tells us football's tough and ya went through a tough day there we know that that's all i know but i'm not gonna say it deserves on this list i don't know why but i'm just trying to argue for argument's sake okay that's why i don't like it I don't, you don't really? even know. Why do you not look it up? How do you not look it up when you know you're going to pick them? I don't need to. I don't need. I don't need to know. I mean, if I see a ghost, I don't need to know the story of the ghost. All I know is it's a ghost, and to me, that is the closest. Th There's just something about that that has always been. What if I told you that was that was a preseason game in the 1957 season? They played 20. They played 20 preseason games. Then who cares? <laughs> I don't. It wasn't. I don't really know that. I just wanted to say that. All right. Okay. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me. Tell me what other commercial video, whatever it is, other than a still frame that you've decided. You're is your definitely pick. getting a video here it's just whether it's I don't know whether to go with John Elway in the helicopter mode in the Super Bowl against the Green Bay Packers or do I go with Bill Belichick running off the sidelines right so I'm gonna go with Elway here okay uh, Elway Green Bay Packers John Elway never had won a Super Bowl he was 0-3 this is one of the most iconic images in the history of the NFL for me right here the 38 year old quarterback doing anything he can to try to win a Super Bowl against you know the great Green Bay Packers who had won a Super Bowl and Brett Favre is the NFL MVP so wait still shot it right there so it becomes iconic bam look at that it's a picture Woo! yes somebody <laughs> still shot at it <laughs> not nearly as compelling like that not but, nearly as compelling but no joke when I think about the history of the NFL and just like the montage of things that come into my brain I really do think of that video of John Elway scrambling out to his right and his face with his teeth kind of showing and like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to jump here and get crushed. Who cares? I got to win a Super Bowl. To me, that was one of the, the greater images in the history of the sport. All right, we got to take a break. I, 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 in the next segment, there are some others that didn't make the list that I want to share with you because you picked three that I never would have picked. If I had picked 20, I wouldn't have even gotten close to the three you picked. I've got Chuck Bednarik over Frank Gifford, Dwight Clark making the catch, Y.A. Tittle kneeling bloody in the end zone. You have Frank O'Hara's immaculate reception, the Mean Joe Green commercial, whatever that means, and the John Elway <laughs> helicopter run. We drafted the most iconic images in NFL history last segment. And I have some others, Chris, that actually are images. They're not videos. They're not commercials. They're not still frames that somebody took off of a TV set. These are iconic images as well that... that uh, You're old. Uh, you went with black and white pictures. I went with videos. Well, I'm the new age. Let's, yep. let, let's, let's start with yeah. one. And, and, and this meshes with uh, the news from over the weekend, the passing of Bart Starr. Star scoring that touchdown, going into yes. the end zone in the ice ball. Right. A play that he suggested on the sideline to Vince Lombardi. He said the footing is is too treacherous for the running backs. So uh, I, I just want to take the ball in myself. Lombardi said, all right, let's run it and get the hell out of here. And they did, and they won. And there's Bart Starr, bottom of the pile, across the goal line in the ice bowl to win the game for the Packers. And when I think of Lombardi, the photo of Lombardi on the shoulders of Jerry Kramer, yeah. with Kramer beaming up at Vince Lombardi, how is that one of the, one of the most memorable? It's, it's clearly one of the most memorable images in NFL history. It, it, look at that. It's just joy and happiness, respect and love, and everything that, that football is all about. Other than having yeah, someone's hand propping cool up one. by the butt, although that's part of it too, I guess. Here's one more that that I thought about. That I thought this is one that that speaks to the modern era of football. Super Bowl three, nothing from the game. Yeah, the beat. I know. Side. Yeah, I thought when about he made this. The, when he made the guarantee. Well, you could have had it, man. And you, instead of going with commercials, Joe Namath talking to reporters poolside when he made the guarantee that the Jets were going to beat the heavily favored. Baltimore Colts from 50 years ago that to me uh, again it's the only one that strays away from the field but it was so powerful because he did something that was regarded as audacious at the time and he delivered on it and and guarantees have become trivialized in the 50 years since then at the time you never 
breathed a word like that, guaranteeing a victory, especially under circumstances like that, and to pull it off, amazing. And the, the, the moment where he just blurted it out there, nothing like it hanging out poolside in Miami. Yeah, no, that is one that I would look at and go, yeah, I should have I should have uh, I should have picked that one. That was a famous, famous image, certainly. And yeah, I I forgot about that one completely because I just my mind went to all football stuff. Honestly, I don't even know if there's an image of this, but one of the greatest NFL images to me is Tom Landry on the sidelines with his little hat on. Right. I mean, to me, that always burns in my brain. I know there's an image out there somewhere. You know, I grew up watching NFL films. That's, you know, still black and white photos. But yeah, I mean, to me, that's one of the iconic images in the history of the NFL. One of the all time greats with his hat on on the sidelines. I mean, that is always cool. There's the David Tyree catch, you know, from Eli Manning in Super Bowl 42 with the Patriots. Kidding. I don't know. Yeah, if I had that one too. I don't know if yeah, I've ever you, seen you a picture all... of it though. I've only seen a video. I've never seen a picture. Yeah, no, of there's it. Pi- no, there's there's plenty of pictures. Well, there's, of it. there's, a picture there's also of a picture. Hey, hang on a second. There's there's also iconic images from college football. And uh, Paul Pabst, our our friend uh, from the Dan Patrick Show, executive producer there, sent this along during our last segment. Iconic image from college football that you may be familiar with, although your back was turned at the time. How you like that one, Sims? That's great. Thank you. This is an NFL <laughs> show, though. Let's try to stay on on task, okay? Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Appreciate your help. Uh, yeah, that stunk that Chris day. Chris Sims Man. getting plowed by Roy Williams. Uh, yeah. Hey, but at least you got the ball out. Uh, no, I did throwing it. I though. didn't get it. No. He <laughs> hit it before. But you know, yeah, Texas fans are so mad at me. There, I was supposed to block, throw, and catch that one all at the same time. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.